Hello boys and girls, our lesson today is about ratios and unit rates. Let's get started. We already know that the ratios are comparison of two quantities. So the ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. Rate is a ratio that compares quantities in different units. Unit rate is a rate that has a denominator of one. You need to know this vocabulary very well because it will let you understand the lesson more. So again, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. It's a fraction, like two over three. You are just comparing two quantities and there is a division bar between them. What is a rate? It's a ratio also, but that compares two quantities that have different units. Maybe it's um, like miles and uh, hours, so you are showing a... Uh, um, a description or you are show showing the relationship between distance and time, for example, uh, between uh, hours and uh, number of miles. So, and the unit rate is a rate that has a denominator of one. The denominator for the unit rate is always one. Writing ratios, the key concept, a ratio compares two quantities through division. You can write a ratio in many different ways. We already know how to write it using a fraction, or you can use the colon, or you can use um, the uh, word two. And always you have to simplify your ratio or uh, your fraction by dividing numerator and denominator with the same factor. Examples, uh, let's write the uh, ratio here. You are comparing the five inches of snow in 10 hours. So it is. When you simplify it, five, 10, five over 10, you need to divide both the numerator and denominator by five. So you will get one over two, which is 0 0.5. So you can write it in both ways as a decimal number or a fraction. 95 copies in five minutes. Here you are comparing two things that have different units. As you see here, we are comparing inches and hours. We are comparing the number of copies to the number of minutes. So they are different uh, units. But I can write it also as a ratio. And how do I get a rate? I just simplify it. 95 divided by 5, that's equal to 19. 5 over 25, 125. Simplify, both are divisible by 5, so you get 25. 4 bags with 360 cans. 360 divided by 4. Then you are going to simplify. By division, you will get 90. So how do you get that rate? You are going to divide or simplify your fraction. Here's another example. It's, this table shows the response and the number and the total also. And this is a survey that asks the students whether they have after school jobs and they have to write each ratio as a fraction in simplest form. Students with jobs to students without jobs. 40 to 60. And when you simplify it, you will get the rate, which is two over three. And students without jobs to all students surve uh, surveyed. The students without jobs are 60 to the total, which is 100. Then you simplify it, you'll get 3 over 4, which is the rate. How to find the rates and unit rates? We know that a ratio that compares quantities with different units of measurement is, is called a rate. So when you are comparing two different units, that means it's a rate. And the unit rate is, it has the denominator as one all the time. This is the example that you have. The table shows prices for different sizes of the same dish. Okay, which size has the lowest unit price? So in the next video, guys, we are going to solve this exercise and we will learn how to find rates and unit rates. Thank you. See you in the next video.